So this video is actually uh, kind of like a re-recording of the last part of my previous video called Hindsight is Not 2020 because for some reason when I was uploading it, the very last part got cut off. So this is what would have been on that video. Uh, 1 John 4.4 4, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Um, if there are people in your life that are oppressing you by influence of the devil, I want you to take heart uh, because of this very verse. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Again, that's 1 John 4.4. 4. Uh, you know, people, they might not understand. Whoever's oppressing you, they don't understand. They don't see it. But they're just... Um, being used by the devil and the, what they don't understand is that when they come up against you they're really coming up against God so your part in this is to trust him and um, you know like Jesus said to pray for your enemies and love them recognizing these people don't realize that they're just being used uh, but um, also just have faith that God is taking care of the situation because they're not coming up against you, really. It's They're coming up against God. Um, and also remember that if your situation is really dire and it just has zero evidence that it'll ever change as aside from the evidence of your faith, um, that just means that your situation totally fits the bill for Hebrews 11.1, 1, which says, um, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is your evidence. There's no other evidence than your faith. You're perfectly in uh, alignment with that verse. <laughs> so take heart in that too. Um, oh, I also wanted to bring up the situation of Saul in the New Testament. He was the most zealous oppressor of the church for a while, and yet he was the very person who God saved and used to reach the Gentiles with the gospel even to the point of writing several books of the New Testament. I mean, talk about a 180, right? Uh, but something I want you to notice is uh, in Acts 9-4, it says that when Saul met Jesus on the road, um, Jesus spoke to him saying, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? You know, Jesus considered Saul's oppression against the church as persecution against himself. He took it personal, which is, I mean, when you're in Christ and you're part of the church, that should be encouraging that Jesus takes that personal. Um, he's, so anyways, he took Saul's oppression against the church as persecution against himself he stopped that literally in its tracks by saving Saul. Or, yeah, by saving Saul. And then he was Paul. And I believe that he wants to do the same in your life if you have an oppressor influenced of the devil. You know, when you think about it the, on the other side of things, what a complete and utter loss for the devil when he lost Saul. You know, and that's just, that's how God wins things. He makes the impossible happen, and I believe he will do it again. So just encouragement for you if you're in that situation, and more like when you're in that situation. <laughs> that's, it's just part of life as a Christian. There will be times where, if you're doing things right, you know, if, if, if everything... I think somewhere, somewhere in the Bible it says if you're, uh, if you're, if everyone is speaking well of you, that's not really a good sign. <laughs> yeah.
you should be ruffling some feathers just because the devil's out there and he doesn't like God's word and uh, he's he's gonna try to use people to oppress you so this is more of a win these happen in your life don't just take heart that God is with you and he takes it personally and he's going to take care of you your part is to pray for your enemy and um, speak this over their life and that no they're not going to remain in this way they're going to get saved so that's the what would have been the end of the other video uh, is all I had here all right